I was just asked if I think more women are going to show up to vote because our reproductive rights are literally on the ballot this year. And I think we will, and I also think it's unfortunate that in the year 2024, we even have to. Women cannot be fully participatory members of society if we do not get to control our own bodies, our own personhood, if we don't get to decide when we go to college, when we settle down, when we start a family, if we start a family, how we start a family, how many children are in that family. We have to be empowered to make those decisions so that we can pursue both careers and family or not, whatever it is that we want in our individual selves. Our individual freedoms are on the line. And the reason that I think, despite it being complete BS that we're still having this conversation, the reason that I think so many people are showing up to vote on this issue in particular is because it's no longer an idea. We're no longer saying, oh, it might be like The Handmaid's Tale. Oh, terrible things might happen. In the years since Roe fell, we have seen over 200 pregnancy loss related prosecutions of women. Can you imagine suffering a miscarriage and then going to jail over it? We have seen women literally die go to emergency rooms after miscarriages or after unfinished abortion care and die. Doctors have to look at women in these states with these bans and say, we're not sure we can help you yet without going to jail. So they wait for them to get septic and then hope they can save their lives. And we know of women around the country whose lives haven't been saved, including Amber Nicole Thurman in Georgia, who died. She had a six-year-old and he's now a motherless child because doctors were not able to save her life in a timely manner. And by the time they operated on her 20 hours after she presented at the emergency room, it was too late. I don't think any of us should be an Amber. I don't think Amber should have been forced to become Amber in the news, Amber the statistic. And I hope that women and our allies show up and vote like we're people first. We deserve that.